Korea and Japan are together in Northeast Asia geographically. So for a long time, two countries have had a lot of influence on each other. Sometimes Korea and Japan fought each other, interacted and traded with each other. Even though Japan and Korea used to cooperate, this changed after the era of Japanese occupation in Korea. During the colonial era, Japan distorted our history and disturbed learning Korean history in order to make Koreans become perfect Japanese citizens. The Dokdo problem is a typical example of this historical dispute. Dokdo has been a Korean territory since the 6th century, and many old documents and maps prove this. However, Japan educates students Dokdo is Japan's territory and Korea is occupying it illegally. In addition to this, Japan has distorted many other historical facts. Let's talk about these histories. Currently, Japan says Japan helped Korea to be developed when looking at modern-day Korea. In one Japanese textbook, it is mentioned that Japan helped modernize Korea during the Enlightenment period of Joseon. This content glorifies and conceals the invasion of Japanese imperialism. Japan forced Joseon to modernize and the reason was to defeat the Qing dynasty, which influenced Joseon, and to increase Japan's influence. Due to the influence of the policy, Joseon became a Japanese colony, so this was not to make Joseon a rich country, but to develop an environment that made it easier for Japan to colonize Joseon. Japan is also underreporting the number of Japanese military sexual slaves and denying the long-term health consequences for these victims in an attempt to cover up what they have done. The reason why Japan forcibly gathered women was to prevent Japanese soldiers from raping women in occupied areas and to prevent sexually transmitted diseases. These women were not allowed to go out and were strictly monitored to prevent escape. They couldn't sleep or eat well and they also dealt with soldiers and unwanted pregnancies. Also, Japan is attempting to deny and rationalize the long-term health consequences of victims who were forcibly drafted to work and fight in World War II. Those who were forced to work had to work all day long in factories or mines under poor working conditions. Those who were forcibly conscripted went to war or were seriously injured regardless or their will. But Japan justified what they did in textbooks, saying that it was natural to work for Japan and die while fighting, only briefly acknowledging the suffering of those who were forcibly recruited and conscripted. Japan forcibly took away not only human resources but also everything, such as metal or wood, to be used as materials for weapons or for war. It has been many years but Japan has yet to issue an official apology and this attitude will continue until nobody even remembers what happened. This is why you have to remember the history that Japan distorted. Japan has to stop distorting history and stop to educate children distorted history. Thank you for watching.